Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last two videos, we had seen how to create RFQ and in the last video, we have seen how to create a quotation. Now, in this video, we would see how do we compare the price for different quotations. So, let's start. So, after you have entered your quotations, uh, you need to compare them to select the best available price and best available offer. So, to compare the quotations, we have a transaction me49 so you have to remember this transaction me49 so we will select the quotations that would be compared using the collective number so you remember the collective number which we had entered before and this is an important field so that we are able to compare the different quotations so this number is maintained in the rfq now if by some chance we forget to enter the this number then we will have to supply all the quotation numbers in the selection field that is quotation so to start the step one is to open the transaction me 49 n okay and then we have to enter the purchase organization the collective rfq which we had used in the previous uh, screen 190123 and execute the transaction so this is the thing which we have to enter okay now the comparison list is like this so we have the price comparison list in the currency so whatever currency you have you should have that currency there and here we have the material so it's an LCD TV and uh, the short text and the quantity so this is just uh, we have the details of the bidder here so vendor 1 is here vendor 2 is here and we have the price so vendor 1 gives us at a price of 106.67 and vendor 2 gives this LCD TV at the price of 107.5. So this app is showing that this is my best vendor because he is giving me the material in the best possible price. So so it is green, it is one and green. So if you see, it is marked as one because this is, this is our best vendor and it is giving us a at the best price so this is how the comparison looks like so if you scroll down so from this list uh, we have vendor one as i told it, which which is giving us uh, the best price now we have to check the effective price with the discounts freight cost and other conditions now this is how we choose which is the best vendor so let's go back to the selection screen and we'll take some boxes now here in step two you check all the boxes in the price calculation section so this is the price calculation section so we check all the boxes here include discounts include delivery costs and determine effective price and then execute the transaction so the results will change now vendor two has a better price and vendor one has gone up to 2560 so here you can see so here you can see that uh, vendor two has a best price and uh, we can proceed with the process so here is the comparison part so if you select the mean value quotation and minimum value quotation of the previous screen you will get the result as they are shown below the screen so here we have the average price on all the quotations and the minimum price of all the quotations so this is another comparison list that we have mean and minimum apart from these two um, prices from the vendors so this is also an important criteria for analyzing which vendor you should go for so after comparing the prices conditions you can decide uh, which offers to accept and which ones to reject so this is a very interactive and comparative chart that, that sap gives us in standard sap gives us and uh, by this way we can compare the quotations so that was all about comparing the quotations in the next video we would check how do we reject a quotation we would also go inside the sap system to check all these transactions which we have talked about in the last few videos so that is all in this video if you got value from this video do like comment and share with your friends do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or feedback share them in the comment section below till we meet again next time you all take care and goodbye